and, and we also have some breaking news coming in now, Aaron. The election interference case against former President Trump in Georgia. Former Trump confidant Sidney Powell is taking a plea deal, pleading guilty to six misdemeanor charges. Let's listen into court. Ultimately, have any effect on the um, entities responsible for actually determining that? Are there any other express conditions and special conditions, Ms. Young, that uh, you would like to see reflected on this sentence? I think you covered it, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rafferty, is there anything else that uh, you think needs to be on the record today? Ms. Young, uh, do you use the state um, have an announcement regarding the indictment in this case? Uh, yes, Your Honor, the state will be entering an all process order on um, indictment number 23SC188947 as it applies to Ms. Powell. All right, well, upon being provided a copy of that motion, uh, I will sign it and the charges in the indictment will be dismissed. All right, if there's uh, nothing else, then we will uh, conclude this and be off the record. Good luck, Ms. Powell. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. All. Thank you, Judge. So again, that was former Trump confidant Sidney Powell taking a plea deal in the election interference case in Georgia. I want to bring in senior investigative reporter Aaron Kaczurski for more on this. Uh, Alec, uh, Aaron, Powell's pleading guilty to six charges here. What do we know about those charges? Six misdemeanor charges, so not the sum total of the indictment that, uh, that she was charged with. That's why you heard the judge say he was dismissing certain other charges, mm -hmm. but six misdemeanor counts, and, and she will have to be on probation for a year for each of those counts, so six years probation uh, on those misdemeanor charges. But she does avoid the possibility of prison time tied to, to a RICO violation. Sidney Powell was alleged to have done uh, a couple of different things. She was alleged to have pushed the idea of fake electors, this slate of electors who would have certified the election for Donald Trump, even though he lost it. She was also behind some of the conspiracy theories that were floated in the days around the election about voting machines controlled by Venezuela and a direct line from Hugo Chavez, who was dead in 2020 during the election. And, and prosecutors had said that those really deepened uh, some of the chaos around the, the election results. She was also alleged to have been involved in an effort to tamper with voting machines in a rural county in Georgia. So Sidney Powell allegedly had her hand in a number of different buckets that were part of this indictment, and now she has it not only admitted to her conduct, but also agreed to testify truthfully if called upon, say, against former President Trump. So what does this plea deal mean for that case, for the case against former President Trump? It cannot be viewed as good for former President Trump or any of the other alleged co-conspirators because now somebody who was, by her own admission now, involved in a number of the different schemes that prosecutors in Georgia have charged, she has now pleaded guilty and she has agreed to testify at trial. And she was herself on the verge of going to trial beginning next week. Jurors were going to start filling out questionnaires, potential jurors, uh, tomorrow. Mm. Uh, that now can be avoided, at least in her case. Uh, and prosecutors can call on her at a later date to testify against Trump or any of his other co-conspirators. All right. Senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky, always great to have you, Aaron. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.